Are you considering moving to Lakewood, Washington? As a local realtor here in Western Washington, I've helped many people find their dream homes and make Washington State home. I'm here to give you an honest look at Lakewood and give you the pros and cons to make sure that you can make an informed decision on whether or not Lakewood is for you. So like I said, I'm a local realtor, but I didn't give you my name. I'm Bajo Saldivar. I've helped people anywhere from Seattle to Olympia, everywhere in between, and let's get into it. So Lakewood's a diverse city. It is in a great location just south of Tacoma, north of Olympia, and really close to Joint Base Lewis McCord. So it's great location-wise, but like every other city, right, it has its pros and its cons. So let's talk about those upsides first. Like I just touched on, location. So Lakewood is just south of Tacoma. It's its own city, but a lot of people kind of bunch it together, right? But Lakewood is still by itself. It is roughly 25 minutes north of Olympia, which is the capital of Washington. And like I said, you can get to uh, downtown Tacoma from Lakewood in about 15 minutes. What helps with not being part of Tacoma is honestly the cost of living in Lakewood. The cost of living is slightly cheaper and that helps with affordable housing, right? Now, there's still great, nice homes in Lakewood that even touch into the million dollar, multi-million dollar range. Those, you're talking about lakefront, it's funny, Lakewood, right? Lakefront properties or even oceanfront properties if you're going towards Stillicum. Um, there's just some crazy, crazy homes that you can't even see from honestly the main roads because what ends up happening is the trees and everything surrounding it, some gates and like long winding roads kind of just tuck away all these houses and you don't even know sometimes that there's a lake in the middle of all these. So if you're one that really do, does like some type of privacy, like it is not hard to find a house in Lakewood that can give you some good privacy. Location, again, one last thing with the location. So with being South Tacoma, but still being its own city, what's also great about that though too, is that you still have that access to the I-5 freeway, which takes you up north and south um, directly to Olympia, Tacoma, Seattle, wherever you need to go. It is right there for you and it's easy to get to different places. So like most places here in Washington, but specifically Lakewood, there is a lot of outdoor stuff to do. I tell you what, I used to live near Lakewood, not exactly right there, but I lived uh, in DuPont, which is just the next town over. Um, and my wife and I, our favorite dog park, honestly, in any spot I think I've been in Washington so far, our favorite dog park and park in general is right there in Lakewood, between, uh, between Lakewood and Stillicum. And it is like a giant, like, I, I mean, don't correct me, or uh, you, can, you can correct me if you want, but I do think it's got to be a couple, one mile north, one mile south, or whatever you want to say it. It's a giant off-leash dog park that's got like small, medium, big, and they just love it. They run around. So if you have, if you got fur babies, it's the place to be. Um, and then off that, for the kids and for the families too, or if just you in general, if you like to, to hike and trail run or just be outdoor running and outdoor walking around bodies of water, um, there's plenty of that in Lakewood. Hey, and lastly, a big, big pro, especially for me, because I like to eat, is the food in Lakewood. So you have the typical chains in like the Lakewood Town Center area where you can find your, you know, I believe it's your Red Robin, your Chipotle, my pizza, um, L and L, right? But also, there's great pockets throughout that have the local good mom and pop shops of like Thai food, um, desserts, and like donuts and stuff like that, and just fusion food too. It's there, and it's a great spot to uh, be able to find all that. So we touched on the pluses, on the positives, right? Um, but of course, like any other place, any other city there's there's the bad sides the cons the negatives so why not touch on some of those first and foremost uh the traffic right again it's right by the five freeway it's right by tacoma and yes it's great to get to and commute to those places but you know with rush hour and all that that also brings traffic also traffic wise so lakewood like i said it is called Lakewood for a reason. There's a lot of different little lakes and ponds and bodies of water throughout. So if you actually look on like the map and then when you start realizing when you're driving around there, 
the roads have to contour with the land, right? It's not just a straight grid system. And so sometimes because of that, things aren't so direct and there's not really a lot of ways around um, to get to where you wanna go. That creates other local traffic. I mean, lastly, I will say, I think in some parts of Lakewood, so, so this is the thing too, like I was saying, you have your privacy that you can get there. And that comes with also just knowing what neighborhood specific subset of Lakewood to look at because there are some worse off, I mean, I don't say, I don't want to say worse off, I want to say higher crime areas, right? There's parts of Lakewood that are more high crime, more prone to crime, and you just have to be wary of that. You have to know someone who's an expert of the area, you know, to be able to tell, hey, no, you really want to look at this, 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 this spot, um, because this areas are, like I said, they're just little heavier on a crime, little heavier on just, just some trouble. So there you have it. Some of the pros, some of the cons of what I think of, of Lakewood, Washington. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Again, it's a great spot. It might not be for everyone. It's not perfect, but no place is, right? So if you like this video, if you think someone could benefit from it too, send it to them. If you like my channel, if you like my other videos as well, feel free. Please, I love all the feedback, comment, like, subscribe, love the support, and I'll see you guys next time.